lamb rendang. I am uh, going to make uh, with goat. So I have got 750 grams of uh, goat meat cut into small pieces with a uh, little uh, leg of the uh, goat. You can use lamb or you can use uh, beef. So here I have got uh, about 3 fourth cup of desiccated coconut. I'm going to brown it um, lightly, about uh, slightly dark and then I'm going to make a paste out of it. So, fried it a bit, now I'm going to grind it with little water and make a paste. The coconut paste and now I'm going to make a paste of uh, two medium co uh, sun onions. Yeah, the onions and uh, eight cloves garlic, two inch ginger, six red chilies. We'll make a paste of it and then uh, and put one lemon grass. So this is the leaves and that one stick. One lemongrass, we cut into four bits. I'm going to pound it. Heat oil about uh, two in a pressure pan, two tablespoons, and add about eight uh, cloves and one stick of. cinnamon stick, about 4 cardamom, three star anise and now add the paste. Till you get till the rawness goes. Add the lamb pieces, pounded lemongrass, mix well, fry for about a minute. Add tamarind paste, coconut milk, one cup coconut milk, and a little. Masala water that we have half a cup. Mix well and let it cook on very slow flame for about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes. Take uh, six uh, kaffir leaves, cut them into strips. This is kaffir leaves. This is uh, curry leaves now. About 15 curry leaves cut into strips 15 curry leaves will be cut into strips put in uh, one uh, tablespoon of lime juice kaffir leaves 6 kaffir leaves cut into strips curry leaves about 15 cut into strips little salt about one teaspoon of salt, <coughs> palm sugar, one spoon, mix well, <coughs> add the coconut paste, mix it well 
and cook for about 2 minutes. Close the lid and pressure cook for on slow flame for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Depends on the meat. So, this is goat meat, so we're about 12 whistles. Open the pressure cooker and then either you can cook it in the same pan and uh, let the water dry up, stirring uh, occasionally so that it doesn't stick to the bottom, or you can transfer to a pan and then continue the cooking there. I'll allow it to continue cooking and uh, let the water dry up and this will, the curry will turn brown as you're cooking it. Continue cooking and stirring. Personally, I'm giving Callahan with the Chinese American very good to the department. It started brown, becoming brown now, the color. Continue frying for another uh, few minutes till it becomes uh, more, slightly more brown. And then um, put it off and uh, sprinkle with little coriander leaves. And you have your lamb or goat rendang. I have sprinkled with coriander leaves, mix, and that's it. So you have, um, it's good uh, if you can prepare it one day in advance because uh, it uh, increases the taste and also improvise, uh, it improves with, uh, as the days go by the taste of the rendang. So we have here.